Hello, welcome to another YouTube video with another learning enhancement towards improving and achieving good performance regarding with my daily activities. A demonstration of motor patterns as contribution in the society and how it plays its role in achieving good health. This is the Connie Arvin C, a Bachelor of Physical Education to student from Summer State University. As you are discussing for today's video, come and learn with me. In an overview, motor pattern is a particular sequence of muscle movements directed to accomplishing an external purpose. In a performance context, the external purpose is what we considered as a skill. Skill is used loosely here, as just about everything is a skill. Bench pressing, sprinting, iron crossing are some terms in motor learning. Why there is a need to be aware of how these simple movements can contribute in promoting good health. Simply because motor skills are essential, especially for baby's physical strength and movement. Motor skills are used every day throughout our lives. They help us move and do everything from lifting heavy items to typing on a keyboard. Motor skills and motor control begin developing after birth and will progress as children grow. Having good motor control also helps children explore the world around them, which can help with many other areas of development. Motor skills are broken up into two categories, namely, gross motor skills and fine motor skills. Mastering both are important for children's growth and independence. Gross motor skills are movements related to large muscles such as legs, arms, and trunk. Fine motor skills are movements including smaller muscle groups such as those in the hand and wrist. In the underarm throw, the body assumes a comfortable stance and forward-backward ready position, with the object held in front of the body and the body facing the desired direction of the object flight. The performer steps forward as the arm swings forward until the object is released. Release of an object is in relation to the spot at which the person wishes to direct the object's flight. The body's movement begins from a ready position or a forward stride position with the object to be thrown held in front of the body. The body and shoulder rotate, the weight is shifted backward, and the dominant arm swings sideward in a horizontal arc. The arm swings forward in the same horizontal arc as the body, and the shoulder rotate back toward the target. The performer stands in a forward-backward stride position and brings the throwing arm down and back in a sweep much as in the underarm throw. However, as the swing reaches its lowest point, the elbow is flexed and moves away from the shoulder joint. The object is released as the total body weight is transferred and as the arm is in the line with the total body. Speed and distance are the reason for selecting the overarm throw. Running by definition is the acceleration of the walk to the point where the body is propelled through space with brief periods of time in which neither foot is in contact with the ground. Sprinting is to run a maximum level of velocity. Wickstrom identifies six essentials of a mature patterns. Standing long jump consists of preparatory couch or tuck position with the arms swinging backward. Arms swing forcefully forward and upward as the body extends at an angle of 45 degrees, the most effective position for producing maximum distance upon landing. The vertical jump consists of a preparatory couch in which the knees bend to allow the body to gain height for the explosive force in jump. The arms are brought down to the knees in a relaxed position. At the moment of takeoff, the arms forcefully lift forward and upward as the body extends at the hips, knees, and ankles. The body remains in full extension until gravity brings the body back to the floor or playing surface. As the body about to land, the ankles, knees, and hips are flexed or relaxed to absorb the shock of landing. <laughs> 